Hey guys, in this video, I wanna see if one of these can work in one of these. This is the Sandus Extreme Micro SD card. Now this is a micro SD card, we're gonna be using it in the adapter and seeing if it works. It shoots 4K with a Sony A7 III camera. This guy does 160 read megabytes per second, 90 megabytes per second right, apparently, maximum. Now I have already tested out one of these cards in my Sony A6400 right here, this one being used and it worked completely fine. All right, we are 40 minutes in and everything is a-okay. Look at that, a-okay. All right, it has been over an hour, one hour, and we are recording. It looks good, we're, we're happy with the results. There you go, everything's okay. So I reckon you can use micro SD cards in cameras. What do you think? I think you're beautiful and whatever you said is awesome. So subscribe and hit that like button for more of this. All right, let's just find out the actual performance and speed of this card and see if it work well in the big guy, the big fella, the Sony A7 III. The good thing about getting a micro SD card over a normal size SD card is that it's more versatile. You can use this guy on a smartphone, you can use it in a DJI Mavic, and you can use it everywhere. Whereas the big guy can only be used in certain cameras. So let's put the micro SD in the adapter and then put it in the actual camera. So I'm gonna put it in slot number one, which is the faster one. It's in, does the camera recognize it? Boom, shakalaka, we are set. And it seems to be working right there. All right. As you can see, it's recording A-OK. -okay. Everything is going well in the world. So it does pass the A7 III 100 megabits a second camera test as well as the A6400 shot that guy for over an hour. But let's just see how fast do the cards go. Time to get on the Big Mac. All right, now we're gonna see how fast they go when plugged into a computer. I've got an SD card and a micro SD card reader. So I'm gonna try it out first with the adapter plugged in and then I'll try it out as a micro SD. So we're getting 80 megabytes a second write and 90 megabytes a second read. All right, let's try it out as a micro SD card. All right, it seems like it runs pretty much the same. I'm getting 82 megabytes a second write and 90.8 megabytes a second read. So there's no difference whatsoever. I'm saying putting the hammer down between using it as an SD card or a micro SD card. And that is great news because micro SD cards are cheaper. Mm -hmm. 